इधर घुमा देना इधर घुमा Once again with a round of applause, if you can do that, come on, Joshna Chinappa and Prasad Krishna. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, firstly, I'd like to welcome all of you. Everybody has been dying to be, uh, get you here and uh, have a chat with you. But before we actually get to do that, I want to thank two amazing athletes that you see on the other side. Thank you, thank you so much Mr. Singh, thank you so much Mr. Sharma, I'll uh, request you to kindly join us back in a while. Uh, and there we go, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Firstly, you, I know you just travelled uh, from far off, so how are you doing? Yeah, it's a great day, lovely to see all of you here. I mean, ASICS is always, every time any association faces made me happy and coming here all the way from Bangalore to Mumbai to meet you all, I mean, exciting day of course. Joshna, how does it feel to be a part of such a fantastic campaign? T Tata Mumbai Marathon does not need an introduction and nor does the brand that you're representing. How are you feeling this morning at the unveil? Uh, hi everyone, uh, I feel great to be back here honestly. I've trained a lot here in Bombay and played a lot of squash and a lot of tournaments here and it feels great to be a part of ASICS and part of the Mumbai Marathon and yeah, I look forward to uh, unveiling the t-shirt. Well, you just said that you've been a part of the brand for a long time. Uh, I would like to ask you this, how has been the association with the brand? How did it come about and how has been the journey with the brand? Uh, both of you can answer that, that'll be great. Yeah, for me, I think ASIC since, since the time I've been playing cricket, I think ASIC is one brand that any fast bowler would want to get that. Because it's the kind of comfort that you have, the technology that all ASIC uses, is this immense, there's this, no necessary for me to explain about that. But then, yeah, even, even after getting into association with the ASICS, I think it's been wonderful that people here are very kind, make sure every single time there's any any need that I have is always fulfilled at that within within no time. So I think I have only good things to say about ASICS. That's exactly why we caught you here, Prasid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, Joshna, uh, how's the association been? For me, it started with the shoes, honestly, because uh, ASICS squash shoes are some of the best in the world. In fact, every top squash player uses only ASICs to play and that's how I started into the brand. I started playing with them and I really enjoyed their shoes. It made my movement on court so much easier and, and yeah, it just felt like a very natural association um, after I started working with them and I've enjoyed all their products with training, with my matches 
And yeah, and I look forward to it being a long association. Absolutely. Uh, we're looking forward to the same. Uh, before we actually dive into uh, the question and answer from the media friends, I have a few of my own. So let's do this the rapid fire way. If you guys are ready, I'll be more than happy to put you on the spot. Is that fine? Yeah? No? Is that a yes? Is that a no? Let me quickly have you uh, have a seat so that you get comfortable and probably start answering my questions. Superstar. Okay. Um, I'll start with the. Uh, Joshna, yeah. what is your favorite sport to play apart from the sport, of course, that you are a champion in? And how often do you play or watch other sports? I really enjoy playing mainly racket sports like badminton and tennis. So I try to play that at least two, three times a week. Right. Uh, I tend to watch a lot of hockey. And now, obviously, with the World Cup, I was watching a little bit of the football. Wow, what a World Cup. I will come back to that. That's a different conversation altogether. Prasid has a big smile on his face. He's a big football fan as well. So, Prasid, what's the sport that really uh, fascinates you? And apart from cricket, of course, which, which sports are you into? Yeah, I think you said it. Football is, is I'm a great fan of. I always, Manchester United is, is my team. So, keep a, keep a tab on what's happening around the world of football every single time. And now that we know World Cups just ended and, and all of us know how good it was. Probably the best football in World Cup ever. Uh, coming back to uh, you guys, the most memorable career moment so far. I know this is cliche, but if you have any special moment, that'll be great if you can share that with us. Uh, for me personally, I think anytime I win a medal for the country is always uh, a very, very special moment because a lot goes into it. It comes only every four years. So it's very exciting to, to be standing on the podium with the anthem playing and winning a medal. So for me, those moments are very, very special. Prasad? I think she said it the first time I played for the country when I got my cap and then we were standing together for the national anthem. I think I've been great about it for so many years. My parents were there, so I think I would consider that as the moment of my life. That's a different kind of goosebumps, isn't it? Yeah. All right, uh, talent or hard work? Which one do you think kind of takes the preface, the primary source of successful people? I know the answer, but there you go. I'm going to say hard work, but if you're talented as well, it makes life a lot easier. Yeah, there's no black and white answer for this. I think it, it's a mixture of both. It's, I mean, obviously you're talented, that's why you're somewhere, and then from there on, it, it, it goes, on, goes on down to how hard working you are or how smart working you are. More than hard work, I think somebody who works smart is, is going to have to Alright, uh, we are in Mumbai. I know you love this city. What is that one food that you come here and you have to have that? Yeah. And I would love to say what about, but then <laughs> if I have to think about the times that I've had here in the last four or five times that I've been here, I haven't really got to eat what about, but then yeah, if, if there's something that I would say it is what about. Um, <laughs> well, when I used to live here, I used to do my rehab here, so actually, to be honest, the food I look forward to the most was the daba that would come to the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> because sure. I never really went out much here. Uh, probably one of the finest food that you'll get is the dabba walas doing the courtesy. Okay, um, what question do you dislike the most in an interview apart from this one that I've just asked you? <laughs> is there a question specifically that grinds your guess if somebody asks you like, uh, for example, how are you feeling right now? That's probably not the question that I would really like to ask anybody. But then again, is there a question like that? Uh, it happens when I'm playing a match mm -hmm. and if someone is coaching me in between and they go like, how are you feeling now? And I'm like, my heart rate is at 200. I mean, it's not a very really smart question to ask me, but I'll do that. Sure, just a cue for the people out there. Nigel, he's angry about something. <laughs> how are you feeling, sir? Are you good? Sorry. Uh, sir, can you please? I don't think there's any, any such questions, to be honest, because I think playing a sport, we've learned the art of talking to people and and there's nothing that can irritate us, of course. There's, there's nothing that happens. Oh, fantastic. You've got a free pass now. He's not leaving for the next three hours. There we go. Let's do this. Uh, okay, on a serious note, thank you so much, guys. That was amazing. You guys have done phenomenal. Uh, one serious question, though. What is your idea of sound mind in a sound body? How does that come about? Because we, so many uh, of the times we talk about uh, fitness as just the physical aspect of things, but then again, the mind plays even even bigger role in you being a fit person. So, uh, what is your idea of a sound mind and a sound body? How does that come about for you? Yeah, I think it's very relatable because I think your body, a healthy body is going to keep a healthy mind, and, and it has to have a healthy mind for you to be fit. Like if I have to 
recall the days that I've had when I was injured or, or any, any of the days when I haven't really done well. Even though my body is feeling great, there's, there's something that, that's not right or the other way around when, when there are when there are days when I've done really well, but then I'm actually injured, I know I'm injured and can't sleep for the next few weeks, I think those are the times when, you know, actually you have to make sure, like a sound body, sound, body, sound mind is really important to have the right kind of people around, the right kind of equipment that, that help you be in the right state of mind and obviously that's going to help you keep a good physical mindset as well. So, yeah, it, it is one of the most important things for anybody, not just a sportsman. Yeah, I mean, a little bit about uh, what Prasid said, it's very important to have a very good team around you. Um, obviously, times are challenging um, for everyone, even as an athlete, so I think that, and as well as taking time out for yourself, really uh, focusing on what you need to do, and if it means, you know, switching off from people, switching off from social media, I tend to do that a lot, and I think it's just what works for you, and for me, this is what's worked for me, is having a great team and being able to cut uh, people off for the time being or temporarily so I can get the job done and then come back to what I need. Alright, that's about it. Uh, from my end, you want to put your hands together for those amazing answers. And now it's time uh, that we all have gathered here. Finally, let's get to the unveiling of the much-awaited official merchandise for the Tata Mumbai Marathon 2023. Uh, Prasid, can I request you to kindly step up? Uh, and of course, I would like to uh, request Joshna along with Anil sir to kindly join us here and uh, help us unveil. Uh, can I also request Mr. Saurabh Sharma to kindly help us unveil? Okay, uh, so as you can see, we haven't unveiled it yet, and that's because you haven't uploaded for us to unveil it. Wow, that's loud. I know you can do better than that, Mumbai. Come on, put your hands together. Let's do this. The official merchandise for Tata Mumbai Marathon 2023. This is A6. Anil sir, I'll request you to uh, get into the center and show us what you've got in your hand. Of course, Joshua. There we go. Joshua and Priscilla are already wearing it. So we got two colors as of now that you can see right here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the first view of this beautiful, beautiful t-shirt that we have come up for the 2023 edition. And uh, one last time, there you go, know, Anil Singh doing the honors. So ask any runner out here, okay? The last few miles really take everything out of you that's the mental capacity and you can see everything right here from the journey to the experience it says 
the volumes about the experience that you will get. So if you are not running in this one, you better be running in this one. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Anil sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharma, for being here with us. There we go. I've got it done, right? You wanted a picture? We got a picture. Let's do this. And of course, now uh, this exclusive merchandise is available. You can get your hands on it right here in the store. Go and check it out for sure. Solo, solo now. <laughs>